Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. This is another Patreon exclusive that is coming to you while I am not home. <laughs> By now I should be in New Zealand full swing, uh, but my responsibility is to you to get you a video per week even while I'm gone. So this was very fun, very fast. It's a quick little book that I'm taking with me to embellish with buttons and tickets and mm, anything that I can find on the ground I can stick in these little pockets. Uh, I made it with a brown paper bag. You do not have to do that. You can use scrapbooking paper. That will work just deliciously. And I used uh, some Tim Holtz cards. Uh, I had eight left. I used them up. So I continue to be grateful for your support and see you on the table. This is a very quick fun project this morning. I had some leftover cards, eight of them to be exact. These are uh, Tim Holtz cards and a brown paper bag and a sewing machine and a ruler and a cutting mat and an exacto. That's all I needed to put this together. This is going to go to New Zealand with me. I'll play with this on the plane. Probably play with it uh, while Rob and I are traveling. I'll be embellishing these different things, words, stabilo, things like that. Very fun. Love brown paper bags. Okay, as you are watching this, I am probably already in New Zealand. Trying to get some videos lined up so you can watch them while I'm gone. I have a piece of uh, brown paper bag. I wanted it 14 by 14, but my bags aren't tall enough. So it's 13 by 13, which is fine. We'll make that work. I have a bone folder, my X-Acto, uh, my Stabilo, a ruler, and I have eight cards. This is all I have, my last eight cards and a pair of legs, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so these are Tim Holtz cards. Um, three of them are horizontal and the rest are vertical. Not perfect, but I am okay with that. So this is just a quick little project that I'm taking with me so that I have something to play with because I start craving the table when I'm gone. So I'm going to take my brown paper bag, Trader Joe's brown paper bag, and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold it in half this way. You know me, I don't mind if it's not precise. And then I'm going to fold each side up to that. Center fold. Oh, I am going to be using my sewing machine today. A lot of my supplies are packed. My sewing machine is not going to New Zealand with me, so it is not packed. Oh my gosh, my sewing machine is metal and so heavy. All right, now I'll bring my cutting mat back in. Open up my pages. And I'm going to cut between this line and this line. Lots of lines going on in here, but this is the first page and this is the last page. So I'll put my ruler down. Cut as precisely as this girl can. Bring my brown paper bag back up. Squeeze this page up, this page out. Thank you. 
So I just folded it in half again and I'm creasing it the other way so that it will behave better. Now I have a little booklet. So what's great about this is I'm going to bring these in and I'm going to sew them on the pages. And what's nice is I can lay this flat and sew the page on my sewing machine like that. I'm just gonna sew like this to create a pocket so I can slide things in. All right, so I will put my book back together. I'm gonna put the horizontal ones on the front and the back. So I will put that on the front. I'm gonna to go to my machine and sew that. All right, I have the sewn on perfectly straight as we would expect. Now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start the other pages like this. So I'll take that to the sewing machine and I'm just going to add the pages in. All right, let's look and see what we have. So here's the first one that I put on and that is the cover of the book. Okay, then we open the book. This is a pocket. This is a pocket, this is a pocket, and this is a pocket. All right, so now we're gonna go to the other side. So just to keep things straight, I am going to put this guy in like this. So there's no sewing on the other side, it's all on this side, which I think is brilliant. And these guys are gonna have to go in sideways, but I'm not gonna do those until I come back and make sure they're facing the right way. I'm just gonna sew this guy in. So I just got this guy sewn in. So this is the front, going through the pages. This is the guy we just sewed in. So these are the horizontals. This will go this way, this will go this way, and then that. Let me go sew those in. Okay, all the pages are sewn in. Folds up very nicely. Nice little book. All right, I'm gonna take it in the center here and I am going to sew it down this line with the intention of holding everything together. So this little project takes about mm, 20 minutes to make this little book. You can make it out of scrapbook paper and do the same thing. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Then you've got a pretty background. I just chose a brown paper bag because I love it. I will stabilo around the edges of these pages. I will put things in the different pockets, which will be fun. Pockets, pockets. If I go along, if I sew along the bottom here, we have even more pockets. I think I'll do that. So you can put ribbons on here and buttons on here. And I'm going to go ahead and make hats on these guys, maybe give them different eyes. I'll, I have a magazine going on the plane with me and a glue stick. So sky is the limit. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play, go have fun.